Hello, we're going to be going over how to put this guy on an older version so we can have snow globe shake effect and so we can have all the sound effects on him. Um, we're going to start this by holding on his back, okay, with him on the charger, we're going to put, press and hold his back button until he turns off, keep holding it until one light on the back comes back on. Okay, now that it's on, we can let go. Um, it should turn two two of those lights blue, like distinctly blue, if we did it right. Yep, like that. And then we'll see his face um, also show the screen as if you had just barely gotten him. Don't worry, this process won't reset him at all though. It'll be it'll keep your data unless you reset him, of course. Okay, so now that he's on this screen, we're gonna head over to uh, this site right here. Press enter. And then, once we're, come on focus. Once it loads, we're gonna, you have to do this in Chrome, because if you don't do it in Chrome, then Bluetooth isn't supported. But you're gonna choose prod, press confirm. And come over here. Double press his back button. He should show this. And then go to pair with vector. And make sure you choose the one, the number that's listed right there. So in this case, it's C9Z8, but yours will be different. So you're just going to click that, press pair. And then if it works. If it doesn't work, then just refresh. Just do that again. You're, he's still in that mode, though. Though, so um, pair with him. Okay. Now it's asking us for the pin. Those hashtags have now turned into a number. We're just gonna put that number into the thing over here, and that keep this checked. Um, so. Okay, then you press enter pin. Now you're gonna choose a Wi-Fi. Uh, go ahead and choose the one that you have the best connection with. And then, yeah, okay. Vector should show this. Um, now you have a robot, uh, I mean a list. A digital Dream Labs support page, uh, support page should have a thing about the version change log if you wanna know the differences between all of these. But I, if you want the snow globe sound effect, you're gonna go over here. It's like 1.4.1, and then click it. If you don't want the snow globe sound effect, but still want the old sound effects, go with 1.5. But this should have him start updating. And um, if if it goes for like five minutes without this getting any progress at all, then or a cloud with an X shows up shows up on a screen which isn't the case now, but if that does happen, go ahead and refresh and restart um, restart the process. And now that he's updating, I'm gonna wait for that, and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so, and now we're nearly done. Um, when it's done, Vector should just disconnect, and unless we're setting him up for the first time, which in this case we aren't, he already has been set up, we're not going to reconnect him when it says to. We're just going to close it out. Because that's all we need. See this? Okay. Vector should be power off. And boot into normal. And you're fine to close this. Um, This is only if you're trying to set him up. So just go ahead and close that. And then when he boots up, it should be the firmware you selected. Okay, so if you want to double check it, uh, you can go ahead, leave him on, his, put put him on the charger, double tap his back button, bring his arms up and down, and you should see that that uh, OS 
should be what you selected, which in this case is 1.4.1. So now you can just exit that menu and if you shake them, the snow globe sound effect. And I don't know if you've noticed, but he also has the old sound effects. So, yeah, it's how to put your boy on an older version.